Hey, what's going on guys? We will YouTube here back with another video and welcome to yet another new series known as Cards to Watch Out For in which I discuss cards that are up and coming in the future which you may need to get your hands on multiple copies of before everyone else does, pretty much. So we're going to be talking about Cosmo Blazer today and the first card we're going to be talking about is Breakthrough Skill which I believe will almost completely replace Effect Vader in the near future. So basically what the card does is it is a normal trap card that allows you to negate a monster's face of effects then, when it is in your graveyard, you can activate it again by banishing it from your graveyard to negate a monster's face of effects once again. The only downside is you can't use the second effect the same turn you use the first one. Plus, you can only activate it during your turn. So as for its advantages over effect better, it has many. It can masquerade as D-Prison or some other annoying back row, at least early on when it first comes out, until people start suspecting that it's face down. Um, especially in decks that run a lot of back rows, such as Elemental Heroes, Windups, uh, Rescue Rabbit, and so forth. Uh, it is slower because it is a trap, but of course it has multiple uses. You get to use the card twice, provided they don't have Macrocosmos on the field. And with that in mind, there is no worries about Macrocosmos for its initial activation, unlike Effect Vader, which can't send itself from the hand to the graveyard as a cost. Also worth noting is that, of course, it is a chainable trap. Its first activation can be activated in either player's turn in response to any chainable card or any chainable event. Its second activation is, of course, during your turn, but neither of these characteristics are shared with Effect Better, which is, which is what really makes it such a unique card. So let's compare with Effect Better. Well, as we know, Effect Better is a light tuner level 1. A quick effect can only be activated during the opponent's main phase. However, it is harder to respond to, and it is harder to remove as a threat since it is safe in the hand. This is essentially what gives Effect Better its edge over cards such as Breakthrough Skill. Breakthrough Skill can be MST'd. However, Breakthrough Skill can also be activated twice and can be activated during the battle phase, which I believe is what gives it an edge over the likes of Effect Vader. So, I mean, if you're up against a wind of Zen mains, you can basically negate that monster's effects and then attack over it. I mean, how convenient is that? You won't be able to use an Effect Vader in this situation, but Breakthrough Skill is able to do that for you. It's also particularly effective against stall cards such as Gachi Gachi Gantetsu and Spear Reaper, hand traps such as Tragoedia. Lockdown cards such as Archer Christia, Evelzar Dalka, and very, very pesky cards such as Wind Up Rabbit, who instantly you can't really get rid of any other way during the battle phase. I mean, hypothetically, if that Wind Up Rabbit were to attack, your opponent were to activate D Prison, he would attempt to activate his effect, and then you would flip over Breakthrough Skill and completely screw that rabbit over. It would get banished by the D Prison, and you would be very, very happy indeed. Even decks that aren't particularly fond of back row might still like to use this card because if Lila Lightsworn Sorceress mills this card or any other Lightsworn monster mills it, you still get a use out of it, unlike Effect Bear, which, if you mill it, only really serves as life fodder to banish for the likes of Chaos Sorcerer and BLS. So, what more is there to say? Everything you know about Effect Bear, you also know about this card, except the fact that it is a trap and it can be activated twice. First of all, as I said, as a chainable trap during any phase, and second of all, during your turn by banishing it from your graveyard. But anyway guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe as always. And let me know what you think of Breakthrough Skill. Do you think it is indeed going to break through into the meta and become popular? Perhaps a replacement to Effect Vader, which I believe it will. Because in my opinion, it is superior to Effect Vader in almost every way, provided it doesn't get MST in the end phase, which is just plain annoying. But I doubt that it's going to happen too often. As for its rarity, I would say it is definitely going to be at least ultra rare and perhaps even secret rare. Konami like to do that with these overpowered cards and everyone is going to realize the potential of this card as soon as it's released so i highly recommend getting your hands on two or even three copies of it during the sneak peek weekend or as soon as you can after that because i guarantee you its price is going to skyrocket 